Today we're going to talk about the 255, which is one of my favorite machines. I've been anticipating it for a while. It's accessible enough for just a regular guy or girl to grab it and use it, but it's also powerful enough, whereas if you do get into heavier stuff or more production stuff where you're running tons of parts, it'll handle that too. It's got a great duty cycle. You're probably not going to run up against it. Pull 12 is just a super clean process that you can use on anything from thin gauge up to a half inch. But I've done three quarter inch to half inch with pretty much no problem at all. The nice thing about Pulse is it, it's cleaner, it's stronger, it's uh, more precise when you get it dialed in. Typically you have to run different gases if you do want to run short arc versus Pulse. This one, you can run 90-10 argon mix. You can use it for short arc and for pulse welding. Uh, they, have it, they have it programmed so that it welds nicely with both of them. Both of them wet out really, really well. If you're not sure where you should start with something, you can kind of go and use a, the auto set and it'll give you a range for high and low. And as long as you're within that range, it'll be good. But you can still, if you're doing something kind of out of the ordinary, you can still fine tune it if you want to. This one also has the newer style guns, which are super nice for ergonomics. You don't get tired holding them, your hands don't cramp up. It's a really nice design as far as that goes. I've been super impressed. It's really hard not to lay a good weld with it. Uh, it adjusts to you. It adjusts to how you weld. And while back in the day I didn't like that very much, now it's so tucked in, like you don't even notice it. It's just there and it's making you a better welder without you even knowing it. So that's the Millermatic 255. It's a machine I really dig. I use it, I love it, and I would recommend it.